What's up, folks? Uh, this is Gar Science, okay? Uh, if you are just watching this video for the first time, okay? This is Gar Science, okay? And, uh, we do videos on uh, stress, depression, okay? Everything that is gonna help you become the best you, okay? In fact, it's stress on you, okay? So, uh, in today's video, I wanna talk about stress, causes of stress and uh, how to improve uh, your ability to handle stress okay so stress is something that um man i don't know it's prevalent okay among i think everybody everywhere okay um stress is everywhere okay depends on how you treat it and your knowledge okay on uh, stress your knowledge about it okay um, so let's get started okay we say what is stress okay if i may ask you what is stress you have to be able to define something before you fight it okay you have to be able to know the structure of something before you fight it okay if you don't know the definition you can't okay fight it you can't win you can't be able to curb the 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 the, 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 the deleterious effects okay um, of um, the deleterious effect of um, this uh, stress okay uh, so we want to go right now okay what is stress you say um stress can be defined as as any type of changes okay that causes physical emotional psychological strain okay you got a definition right okay? it says uh, stress is any can be defined as any type of changes okay that causes physical emotional or psychological strain okay so stress is not just only physical from the definition stress can be physical stress can be emotional stress can be psychological okay and most people just think stress is just physical it's physical I man no stress can be emotional stress can be psychological okay so these are three things you have to be aware it can be physical it can be emotional it can be psychological so take note of that okay uh we say another definition of stress is your body's response to anything that requires attention or action okay anything that requires attention okay or action that is stress okay that can be that is stress okay anything that requires attention your attention your action your boss is, is really really i think demanding a um, lot of hard work from you i think um that can be stress okay can, that can cause stress, that can be stress itself, okay? Because it can cause of emotional um, difficulties, emotion, it can cause some emotional arousal, it can cause um, some physical pain or emotional pain, or psychological pain, or boss is trying to use me like a slave, and all that cause some emotional pain, okay? Um, which is stress. So, the boss, okay, that thing itself is stress, okay? So, what is the response, okay? So, um, so um, I want to go over to um, psychological stress, okay? Um, actually, what is psychological stress, right? Let's talk about that, okay? Psychological stress is defined as a particular relationship between a person and its environment that is perceived by the person as taxing or exceeding is or resources, okay? So this psychological stress is defined as a particular relationship between a person and its, and its environment, okay? That is perceived as taxing or exceeding its or our own resources, okay? And endangering its or our own well-being. So psychological stress is a relationship between your environment. Psychological stress for short means your perception, okay? It means your perception. Uh, you know, so some things that will happen to you to affect to alter your perception of things, your perception of life, your perception of relationship. So psychological stress is with your perception, so you can be stressed in that area. Okay, they can be stressed in that area. When you talk about stress, is this okay? Stress now is um, you are getting a response, you are getting a signal, or whatsoever, a trigger, okay, that is more than what you can handle. So it is therefore altering your perception, your, your ability to perceive things. It is therefore altering you, your internal your emotion. It is affecting your emotion. It is affecting your, uh, your ability to perceive things. Okay, 
uh, when I say be to perceive things, what I mean is this: okay, you can begin to look at the world as, in, as, as, a, as a very as a, as, a, as, an, uh, as an evil place. Okay, that stress. Whenever something happens, and you begin to look at the world, evil place, look at people, bad people, your perception has been altered. Okay, that is psychological stress. Okay, you are under what is called psychological stress. Okay. Is a relationship between your, your person and its environment's perception. Okay, you are on that. Okay, psychological stress. Okay, now there are different impulses we receive every day, which are, are normal. Okay, they don't alter we see the world. Okay, and there are some impulses we receive such as when you lost someone, you dead, when you lost someone that is dear to you. It can affect how you think for that moment. Okay, when you see the corpse. Okay, it can affect your thoughts. Okay. At that point, okay, the impulse is greater than what you can handle. So that can affect your mind, can affect your perception of things. In that moment, you begin to see the world as, as very as, as an evil place. Okay, you begin to see the world as, as an evil place. Everybody should die. Okay, you are under psychological stress, and if that persists for a long time, it's gonna cause some. Um, it's gonna have some bad effects on you. It's gonna affect you. Okay. And uh, so that is psychological stress. I hope you got that well. Psychological stress has to do with you, your perception, okay? And perception, rest of all, comes from impulses that I receive from your standard environment, okay? But the impulse can be greater than you, okay? And like, greater than what you can handle, so it can affect your perception, okay? Sometimes, okay? So let's talk about the causes of, um, let's talk about the causes of uh, stress, okay? Uh, we said the causes of stress. I list a couple of causes of stress. Okay, let's so uh, we can move forward. Okay, number one, we say being under lots of pressure. Like what I said, when you are under lots of pressure, there's stress. Okay, when you are under lots of pressure, pressure to do something, pressure to do that, pressure to do this and that, you can get under psychological stress. Okay, you can get under psychological stress. So, Causes of stress, but by being under lots of pressure, pressure from home, pressure from school, okay, that and that to work, that and that, so they can cause stress, okay. So number two, we say facing big challenges, like what I said, if you see a dead cop, if you see a corpse right now, if you see uh, someone that is dead in front of you, okay, it tends to hurt, and that person is, is dear to you, the person is who you love, okay. That tends to alter how you perceive the world at that moment. Because why? Because the impulse is greater than who you are. It's greater than you. Okay, so um, it tends to alter how you think. For that moment, you begin to see the world as evil place. Okay, a place you don't want to live in. Okay, you begin to see all kind of things. Okay, that is so facing big challenges. Okay, can cause stress. Okay. Knowing this is very important, okay. There's knowledge and power, okay. When you know these things, it's easy, okay. It's easier for you to go through, okay, than when you lack knowledge on stress and the types of stress we have, the causes of stress, okay. So now, we said three, three, number three is times of certainty, okay. Times of uncertainty, times of uncertainty, okay. When you're not sure, okay, of where you want to go, you don't have a, if you're not defined by a vision of the future, okay, you're not sure if you'll be successful, you're afraid of the future, you don't know what is going to happen, okay, you're uncertain about what is going to happen around you, that can lead to fear, because your body is in danger, it thinks it is in danger at that point, okay, there's no where to go, okay, it's not, it's not being defined by a vision of the future, man, that can lead to stress, uh, that can, uh, Lead to emotional stress at that point, okay. You're not sure where you begin to go, you're not sure where you are. Your emotions tend to then um, 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 affect your thoughts, okay. And then you begin to do things that are out of your control, okay. You see some programs coming in, okay. So, times of uncertainty, okay, can cause stress. That is why you are too. It can be defined by a vision of the future. Why? Because another way to, to reduce stress or curb its effect, okay? You have to be defined by a vision of the future. Because if you are defined by a vision of the future, there won't be a certainty there, okay? Let's say you are so much in love, you, you're bonding with your future, and there won't be a certainty. There, there, there will be, man, your brain will know where it's going, you will know where you are going. 
think the wounds that think stress will be reduced there okay so you have to be defined by a vision of the future you can meditate okay form a vision of the future right now form an intention where do you want to go today do everything in your head okay that can help okay so number four it says not having enough work activities or change in your life okay when you don't have enough work activity okay of change in your life you continue to do something that are monotonous you need to do something um and once I tend to do the same thing over and over again, over and over again, there's no change. You know, you're not changing anything. Okay? There's, nothing, there's nothing new, okay? That can lead to stress, okay? Your reward center will be hard to turn on, okay? Instead, all you will just be in your head, okay? Your reward center will be down, okay? And it can lead to depression, okay? You can never face depression, depression, okay? So not having enough work, okay? And the dopamine is not be released, okay? Uh, not having enough work, doing um, one one thing all the time, okay. So when you stimulate, do different new things all the time, okay. Do new things. You make sure you occupy yourself with things that matters to you. This can help to reduce stress, okay. You can see that the opposite. You can see that not having enough work, um, activities or change in your life can cause stress. So sometimes you have to do new things, okay. Um, change your work okay if, if you change your job if you're working somewhere you can quit and look for somewhere that is more environment is more satisfying okay so there can be change in activities of your brain a little bit okay because if you continue to do one thing all the time one thing at your time one thing at the time and that's gonna affect you you have to change what you do stimulate your brain different ways do new things try new things that can help to reduce our stress apply yourself with things that matter to you okay that can help to reduce stress okay so let's go to um the cause from the cause we get a solution okay so number five serious the having responsibilities that you are finding overwhelming okay responsibility of taking care of old people okay around you okay that can really cause stress okay because you can make you can alter your perception because like psychological stress let's be specific because like psychological stress um can cause you to uh, pity people okay and pity is like a man pity is a is it is pity is toxic okay that word called pity okay, is from an emotion right it is really really toxic okay listen do not pity anybody okay when you pity people you are killing yourself okay you can killing yourself a little psychological stress a little emotional stress emotional stress is where your emotions now they are out of control out of your control they're not controlling you how you think they're not controlling you they're not controlling how you think okay that is really really something that um you should, that you should pay attention to there's emotional stress there's physical stress there's psychological stress okay having responsibilities that are you find overwhelming okay can lead to emotional stress or your emotions man you begin to pity people your emotions and drive thoughts this and that your psychological uh, perception is not hard okay so if you have a responsibility that you find it overwhelming it is advisable for you to um it is advisable for you to uh, cut it okay not to really reduce it okay uh find a way out okay find a way out okay because it's gonna lead to stress okay it's causing stress in you and uh um, stress we'll talk about the effects of stress in some of our new videos of our, our official videos stress can cause the blood vessels to squeeze okay stress whenever you are under stress your immune system shuts down okay most your body thinks it is in danger your immune system shuts down okay more energy goes to your hands feet okay you just like so that you can escape from the danger okay when you're in danger your body does not need to digest right and the digestion process slows down when you are in danger okay when you are in danger your body just wants to escape so it tends to pull energy to your hands that's why you become powerful at that point and your feet and everything okay so at that point whenever you are whenever you are under stress okay um you tend to whenever you're under stress the system shows down okay 
um, but the problem we are having is this when we are under physical stress okay that can seem better because physical stress can easily be stopped right but what about the emotional stress so people are under emotional stress 24 7 people are under psychological stress 24 7 and this is shutting down their immune system all the time because physical stress now you're under physical stress now you see a line right now or something you can run away from it. it's physical right you can run away from it okay but after that the thing stops right but what about the emotional stress what about the psychological stress okay sometimes we don't know how to shut those things off sometimes we don't know how to stop them we don't know how to um, do certain things that we have to do okay to calm ourselves down okay so that is really the problem with most people okay so whenever you have um, a responsibility that is fine you find what i mean then find a way out of there and that's causing stress okay? and shut down your immune system and for a very long time if you don't know how to get it back okay so a lot of people are shutting down your immune system um, all the time all the time all the time this is why they are susceptible to diseases okay different diseases okay so you have to really be careful okay so um so number six says feeling you don't have much or any control over the outcome of the situation when you begin to feel okay, that you don't have control over anything okay you don't have control over your life you don't have control over anything okay that can cause stress you can think i need to uh, psychological stress emotional stress okay so you have to really 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 um and take control of your life okay um now you see feeling that you don't have control over anything about your life can cause stress so meaning that if you do the opposite right if that if you do the opposite then you have good health okay it means if you um discipline yourself a bit discipline yourself if you uh, set goals for yourself those things tend to bring that feeling of i have control over my life okay if i have control over this i have control over that okay so discipline discipline yourself when you set goals when you uh, those things tend to bring that feeling of i have control over things right so doing those things can help to reduce stress okay so emotional problems you say depression anxiety anger guilt grief low self-esteem can cause stress okay i'll go over them again since depression can cause stress okay anger can cause stress guilt can cause stress anxiety can cause stress low self-esteem can cause stress okay so do the opposite okay and you have um good health okay so when you are if you are feel guilt okay or you grief okay over something that happened um you have to let go of this guilt and grief you have to let go of uh, those things anger let them go okay they are killing you okay being angry for a very long time is like taking poison and you are expecting the next person to die you took the poison you are the one that should die okay so do not be angry when you're angry over you eat listen it's okay to be angry okay but you have to let it go man it's useless let it go okay it's killing you okay so you have to make sure low self-esteem man how do you think about yourself low self-esteem can affect your psychological can cause psychological um, stress okay so you have to make sure you have high respect for yourself respect yourself um this is when you discipline yourself you tend to develop this self-esteem okay because this set goes do the previous ones i've talked about to help to prevent all this the number seven just now i just talked about okay so uh we talked about internal causes i'm gonna run through this one internal causes of stress take our pessimism okay and uh, when you are when you feel um hopelessness can cause uh, can be an internal cause of stress which is internal cause of stress meaning uh, what can lead to emotional stress what can lead to psychological stress so that is the internal cause of stress we're talking about okay so what pessimism on the inability to to uh, accept or sanctity then we have rigid thinking lack of flexibility can cause internal stress and internal stress is divided into emotional and psychological stress okay so rigid thinking lack of flexibility can cause internal stress okay so when you are not flexible in your path man just, this is how life is this is how the world is what is evil what is bad okay, those can cause some internal stress in you so negative self-talk when you say talk um, bad things to yourself 
um, jerk or always feel like this and that and this and that and that and this those can cause stress okay so change what you tell yourself the narrative change story you tell yourself about yourself when you're on your own okay when you're by yourself okay change the negative story you tell yourself this negative self-talk you have to change this can cause emotional stress and psychological stress Taking the physical stress is easy. You can easily stop it. Now, if someone wants to attack you and you leave that scene, you, you are likely to um, stop. You're likely to stop. Okay, and the stress, okay, your body's likely to um, know that the stress is over, right? But what about the emotional and psychological stress? We don't always know how to stop it. We don't always know how to tell our body, man. And we're still about causing that thing to stop. So your body thinks there is still, it's still on, it's still on, it's still on. So that's a problem with most people. That is why you should pay attention to these internal causes of stress because these internal causes is what leads to this emotional and psychological stress are very powerful. It's a pessimistic inability to accept uncertainty, rigid thinking, lack of flexibility, negative self talk. Okay. Then unrealistic expectations, okay, or perfectionism, okay, perfectionism, okay. Uh, you want to be perfect, okay. You can't be perfect, sometimes you make mistakes, okay. Unrealistic expectations, you want to have the world and you are, don't have it, you tend to shut down your thinking, you tend to go into psychological stress and emotional stress. So, you have to be realistic about what to do, okay. So, all or nothing attitude. Ah, if I don't care, this I die. If I don't do this, I die. Something like that, man. It's a cost choice, okay? Be sensible. What you all what I'm trying to say, just be sensible, man. Whatever you do, okay? So, we have talked about that, okay? With a couple of things, okay? So, we want to go to um, how to improve your ability to handle stress, okay? Or we can call it stress management, okay? A lot of people who have varying abilities to. Uh, and the stress okay is um is variable okay um related to under stress different from my ability to under stress okay i read and they said it's determined by gene okay but you can strengthen yourself okay uh, that and that too. so let's go further we say but one we talked about it get moving okay uh get moving means increase your activities okay increase your activities when you do exercise like it tends to distract you from um thinking those thoughts that will push certain emotional buttons okay that will affect the state okay that can also affect your perception so uh so literally emotional stress can lead to psychological stress okay because everybody um is tagged to a memory in your head everybody uh, in your past has a memory in your head has a memory in your head so if you think about people and that stress that cause stress to you and then to you are you are you are pushing you with your emotional button okay you tend to change your emotions tend to be released to your body you tend to change your state okay which can affect your perception okay so i hope you got that well um so get moving okay do some exercise do exercise man do exercise do exercise rhythmic activities such as walking running swimming and dancing uh, are perfect and uh, are particularly um are effective okay so if you do some exercise run do listen to songs okay uh, this can help to change your state okay by changing your state change um it stops that emotional stress and we just stop this psychological stress okay so number two it says connect with others okay you have to form connection with others there has to be a relationship between you and other people because it, 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 there's a saying that uh have a problem uh, says have solved okay uh so you have to connect with other people okay when you feel insecure uh, connect with people, okay. Spend time with people that can improve your mood, okay. When you feel sick, insecure, it's just a feeling, okay. When you connect with people, they say something that helps you, that make you laugh. You tend to forget that, you tend to change your state, people. So, you connect with people. I don't mean you should over be dependent on people, no. I discourage that, okay. I'm not saying go there and be over dependent on people. That people, never you feel sad, just go with people, no. Have be conscious, okay conscious of yourself okay but what we mean is this you have to connect have friends have being in a relationship okay that is good for your health okay 
um, but not be over dependent on people, be conscious of yourself, of your thoughts, okay? You should be able to be on your own by yourself, okay? Okay, so number three, we're talking about engage your senses, okay? Um, to engage your senses, such as uh, your, your sight, your sound, your taste, smell, meaning when you are kind of stressed, when you are kind of should use some uplifting songs okay this can help to reduce stress okay listen to sounds that will help you calm down i have some uh, meditation uh, i have some meditation some sleepy meditation songs okay you should listen to them okay check my channel you use and you see them okay i have a meditation to heal your brain if you're depressed i have a meditation video for that and have a uh, sleep music for if you want to if you find sleep difficult you can put that um, uh, have the applause <sighs> man you can listen to that okay listen to that song and uh, you fall asleep better okay so number four talking about learning to relax okay uh you should always relax by meditation yoga uh, martial arts, whatever, deep breathing, okay, helps you to relax, okay, so you have to relax, okay, it's good food, okay, relax, man, relax, relax, why are you agitated, relax, okay, so number five, get rest, okay, you should be able to get good rest, okay, lack of sleep, man, if you don't, if you, if you have chronic lack of sleep, I can to you being angry for no reason, okay, this to hunger so you have to have uh, get good rest okay get good rest sleep better okay uh, sleep better so that is what we have for today so get good rest man sleep better i think this video is helpful to you okay i look forward to creating my next video where i will talk about the effect of stress okay some of my my new my future videos okay i'll talk about the effect of stress okay what does it really do to your body okay you have to know knowledge is power but lack of knowledge is a lack of power okay so you have to um stay subscribed to this channel okay turn on notification is free i'm not paying a dime for subscribing okay thanks for watching if you have a comment okay if you have a question okay something you are not clear on you can leave it in the comment section okay